get in cars with strange men, which is very dangerous. I have been in situations where I had to fight for my life. Literally fight for my life. Guys will strangle you, leave you deserted. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I went my nail, I wake up every morning, I cry. I cry because I just want out so bad. I just want out so bad. The bubblegum guy, his fetish is to chew. He has a bunch of bubblegum. And it's actually porn. You can look it up. You chew the bubblegum, right? And you blow the bubbles. Like, while he's, like, jerking off. And then pop the bubbles on his... You know what I mean? And, um... That's what you do, you pop the bubbles on it. It's really weird. And then when he finishes, it's like all over the bubble. It's just weird stuff like that, you know? Weird. I've seen a lot of females get hurt, you know. Um, they had the Kensington, um, what was he called? Strangler? Yeah, the Kensington Strangler. I was around for that. They also had another guy that was down here that was killing girls. I was around for that. I mean, I've never had nothing bad happen to me, but I've been around for a lot of other females who had stuff happen to them. I had one, one girlfriend actually got stabbed down here. Um, this guy followed her after a date and um, uh, tried to rob her. And when she didn't give up her money, he wound up stabbing her really bad. Oh. And even after she, she came from the hospital, she was right back down here. So I mean that that was a lot. You know, it makes you it makes you think a lot about you know being down here. It's just a lot, and a lot of people don't really think about the things that we that we're doing, you know. And the drugs is just one way to just, you know, keep us from having to think about it all. I do like dates and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And I find guys that help me, and I help them yeah. switch. I don't want to say I like doing, but. Everyone has their own little hustle, you know? Some people sell drugs to put boost. Mm -hmm. That's them for them to make their little few dollars, but I'm not built to sell drugs and I'm not bold enough to boost, so I gotta yeah. do something else. Eighty percent of, of the girls out here, you know, that's right, what they right. result of doing. I never realized that until I actually like came out here like that. That mm -hmm. you know, you see all the girls walking, and it's like you would never imagine that. And then you see it, and like you see them hopping in and out of cars, and it's like, right, ah, that's what's going on, Aren't right? You? Like I see it. So now that you do dates and stuff, have you had any like? horrible day in experience because you know there's a lot of creeps out here has there is a lot of creeps and i always say like thank god because i never had any you know like physical bad experience mm -hmm. there was one experience where a guy beat me up a little bit so that was kind of like eh. but it wasn't bad he just punched me in the face oh that's horrible that's, right. that's not right how but, long ago that was uh it was like a month ago wow do you know 
do, do you remember the car he was driving or the It was actually outside. So he basically, do you remember if I tell the story a little bit? Mm -hmm. So basically, um, it was a guy that I knew and he said, he changed the story up when people asked him what happened. Mm -hmm. But he basically said, you know, I have $10. I don't know if I want you to give me head or if I want to fuck, but like I got ten dollars for you, and I said I'm not, you know, touching nobody, doing nothing for ten dollars. That's insane. And he got mad that I said no, or that like in a sense he got called him broke, and so he went to the corner store, he grabbed a drink, poured all over me, right? He pushed me, and I'm not fighting back. I'm just trying to like protect myself. So yeah, he just started. Uh, Punching my face, my face was swollen so bad, and yeah, that was really that. That was like one of the worst experiences I had physically. I had another experience where a guy, he was uh, doing coke, he was sniffing powder, and that got to his head, and he thought that everybody around him was out to kill him. We was in a car, so he was dipping in and out of traffic, running red lights, going the opposite way down one ways because he thought everyone was trying to kill him, you know, he was tweaking off the drugs. And um, it was at a point where he, we, were, we were in a little street and there's a car in front of us, a car behind us, the family in front of us was unloading their car. He thought that those were the people trying to kill him. He called the cops. So he called the cops himself. I got drugs on me, he has drugs on him. Mind you, what we're doing is illegal. So he called the cops, telling them where we are, what's happening, people are trying to kill him. And we're going like 70 miles down, you know, down the highway at this point, because he got out of that little situation. And I was in Kensington, that's where he picked me up. And we ended up down Center City, because that's where he was just speeding in and out to. And I kept telling him, like, let me out the car, let me out the car, I don't want to be here, I don't want to do this. And he wouldn't let me out. So when it came, we got a red light, and I just, Jumped out, wow. jumped out the car, and I just. I'm not a fast runner, but you know I was running fast, yeah. fast as I could. What was your worst dating experience? Wow. Um, the worst one. <laughs> I don't know how. I I've been blessed, you know, um, to meet good people, cause I I believe I'm a good person. So um, I was picked up by this guy, but um, I noticed him riding back and forth like a couple times, and um. Another guy got off the train, and um, I told the guy that got off the train, like I felt, I said, I'm scared. So he stood there with me. But um, the guy pulled over, and I went with him anyway. And like, um, he like a kid, he was like so nice to me, you know? Um, and um, you know, we did whatever, and um, I asked him, I said, will you take me to cop? And he was like, sure. So as we was going to cop, we went, you know, once we hit the back street, um, he started to pull over and I was like, what's going on? He was like, I, I think the cops behind us. So when we pulled, when he pulled over, I saw him reach down. And um, I'm from the hood. I know when people reach to the floor, it's a gun. Like, and um, he reached down and he was like, I need you to get my money back. And um, like, I jumped out the car. And um, as I was jumping out the car, he pulled off and I twisted my ankle. Yeah, no, that was, that was like the worst experience, you know, but like I fucked up my leg. I was scared of shit, like I thought he was gonna kill me. Um, but I was like ran screaming and um, fortunately somebody um, else had a gun sitting on in their house. I seen him and he walked me home, but like that was like one of the worst ones. Another one was when um, I was like, you know, just out there. It was cold, raining, and I just knew I should have went home, but I just didn't want to because I just wanted that let another one and um, I saw a guy and um, for some reason I, I, I felt like he was weird. I felt like he was talking to himself but um, anyway I went with him again. He was like the nicest person in the world and um, for some reason they both said the same thing. I said let's go inside. These both two people said oh I don't go inside somebody might, might set me up. So I opted to go to the train tracks with him. I don't know why. So anyway we go there and um, I'm like you know can I get paid and he's like no. Um, you know, go ahead and handle your business. I'm like, no, um, I'm leaving. And so he blocked me from leaving. And I was like, listen, I'm gonna go. Like, um, he started hitting me. And um, he was like, he gonna stab me in my stomach three times. And, uh, you know, I just had to go ahead and, you know, do what he wanted me to do. And, um, you know, I basically was raped, you know. Yeah. Do you report it to the police? No. Why not? 
I don't know. I, I was, I've been up so many days, man. I went to the hospital. Like, uh, I was just hurt, man. I didn't care. I mean, I was sad. Like, I mean, what was I going to say? Like, a Muslim guy, I mean, some guy, I went to the train track, some guy, he raped me. No, I, I mean, I didn't. I'm I so sorry that happened to you. I didn't even know what he looked like. And um, I mean, really, like, he like a Muslim, then he ran, he took the thing off. Like, I don't, I don't know. He didn't tell you what he looked like. That's horrible. Yeah. Real hard. Real hard. How much do you think you made the most you ever made? I've escorted um, off a line, offline. I've learned how to do that. I needed pimps to show me that and how to do that the right way. I did that. Doing it correctly, I've made thousands a day. Um, easily. Um, off the avenue, it's a little different. Um, they know people are seeking and taking less than they're worth. Mm -hmm. um, I think the most I made out here was 400. Have you been locked up for doing that before? Absolutely. How many times? Oh, what, for doing prostitution? Uh -huh. No, no. You've never been locked up? I have been, but not for prostitution. What has been your worst dating experience? Um, I probably, honestly, I probably don't remember it. I blacked out some, but what I can remember to be my worst experience would be um, getting robbed and getting raped. I've been robbed and raped out here. Um, I've had guys do subliminal rape also. Um, I, I say that like that because they will do the date with me and then put a gun in my throat and take the money. And they don't know how much money I have. Like, it really wasn't enough money to be doing that to somebody I wouldn't, you wouldn't think, but it, it happened. Um, there's been a lot of things that I've had to kind of run for my life from out here. Um, people, they think I don't take stuff serious because I have a nervous laugh. So how do you go about supporting your habit currently? Um, prostitution. Well, what are some of the guys that pick you up? Who, who are they? Are they like doctors, lawyers? Yeah, all different. Um, a, a lot of dealers. Um, you know, and then a lot of people that got, like you said, regular good jobs. <laughs> you know, regular people. What's the most money you made in a day doing date, doing dates? Um, probably about like seven hundred. And that's with one guy. No, but it's with a couple different guys. But the one guy gave me about close to four of it. So in the daytime, how many guys do you usually um, spend time with? Um, and I don't like coming out in the day. I only come out if I need to. Um, so I just come out, do a couple, and go back in. I come out at night. I try to stay through my phone, mostly. I have a little welfare phone. What has been your worst dating experience so far? Um, when I was raped when I was 19 in my butt. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Now, do you report this to the police? No. Why not? Um, because after it happened, I asked um, a guy that was driving by if he could drive me home because I had on no pants and no shoes. And um, he told me that's the chance I take when I'm a street walker. Wow. So it kind of like, uh, you know, brought me down. It made me feel like no one's going to do nothing anyway. Understood. Uh, the worst thing I would say I'm, I'm not 100% certain what this man was trying to do to me, but there was a man that attacked me one night. Um, he was trying as hard as he could to pull me out of the wheelchair. He had his arms around uh, my rib cage. I really couldn't reach my blades that I have on me at the time. I ended up basically just doing what I could. I guess my arms had built up a lot of strength in the wheelchair. I just wrapped my arms around him and squeezed as hard as I could until eventually he actually passed out. Wow. My adrenaline was probably pumping that allowed me some extra strength to do that, but Ooh. that's all I could think of to do, and luckily it worked, but that was very scary. I can't imagine, you know, that's horrible, being in a wheelchair, not able to like barely I can't defend. run, yes. I cannot right. run. I have only two options in that situation, which is submit or fight, 
and of course I'm not going to submit, so I have to fight. Well, glory to God, you fought that bad when you came out of, you know, a victorious champion. Oh yes, I would never ever submit to anything like that. Yes, that's wonderful to hear. Like, how complicated is the process for you to get? Oh, it's drugs? horrible sometimes. Sometimes it's real easy, but sometimes it's really hard. Um, there's, well, prostitution is is the the main thing for us girls and some of the guys too because there's guys out here working the streets as well um but some days be lucky if you get five dollars in a day and there's days that i make hundreds of dollars um boosting going out there, boosting, selling drugs. Um, you know, <laughs> sometimes you gotta do something strange for some change. I know that's right. So, so now with the whole prostitution thing, how does that impact how others see you? Well, I mean, some people, well, a lot of people, they knock the hustle. But then there's some people that don't knock the hustle, you know? I mean, you do what you have to do in order to survive. And sometimes it's, it's a very dangerous game because you're dealing with rapists out here, men that don't care about the next life and have been hurt by mothers who used to be prostitutes um, and are very angry towards prostitution. So it's a dangerous game, very dangerous. How was your first date like? The first time you did a date, how was it like? <laughs> I think I dated and didn't even know I was dating. Like that's how long ago it was. Um, but I remember the first time I gave myself up for an exchange because I needed something from that person and I felt so disgusted with myself. I felt dirty. I felt, um, very low, but it's like, it's like any, any, it's like anything else. The more you do it, the more immune to it you become. To a point where you just become numb. And then again, you also have other women that you look to. I mean, when you first come out here, you don't know who to talk to, who to ask questions to, and like now that I've been out here for a long time, I have younger girls coming up underneath me that come and ask me questions all the time, you know? But it's just something you learn as you go along. Now, since you've been in, in that, in, in, you know. And that, uh, wait, can I Yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead, thing? yeah, sure. And, um, and as your, your habit increases, the money needs to go up as well. So you start asking for more money. Wow. Okay, so now, what has been your worst dating experience? Being raped by someone that I had already dated. Um, so it was someone that I trusted. Um, I went with him and it just happened recently. Um, I remember walking away with him and thinking to myself, I'm probably with the most safest person I could possibly be with because he was a security guard and he still had his security uniform on. Hmm. He pulled a knife on me and raped me. Man. And it was one of the most painfulest things I've ever endured. And I remember just crying the whole time and him telling me to shut up. And I just couldn't believe that that was the same person that I had been with prior to that. 
it was like being with two different people because the first time I dated him that was not my experience do you file a police report when that happened no I did not and why was the reason you didn't because I've seen how the police act towards us prostitutes Okay. Everything that happens to us, we pretty much deserve in their eyes. Now, with prostitution, d due to the fact that it's such a high risk, you know, mm -hmm. activity, do you protect do you protect yourself from STDs yes I do I do use condoms that's good to hear um, um, in the last year I really have not prostituted I mean like I'll try anything else I try to borrow money from a friend or I'll have a sugar daddy I had one for four years he died of COVID actually last year um, that's like my last that's last on the list if I have to do it gotcha. you know or I'll rob them so who are some of your your clients who are some of the guys to pick you up there's well, actually, you really can't keep names because there's well, <laughs> too many different men. But I mean, they're just Occupation. typical men that are walking around from here that are getting high. Also, that just want a buddy to get high with, or there's someone that just wants to give you a few dollars to have your company, which really isn't much money anyway. It's not okay. really worth it. It's right. actually degrading. Mm -hmm. um, so, what's the worst thing? What has been your worst dating experience? Was that the one when you got pistol whipped? Your worst dating experience? That one, and um, I remember that's what was it? About 12 months ago, I was walking up by uh, Kip and Cambria, and somebody asked me to do a date. I told him yeah, and we went into the alleyway, and he beat me up and took all my money and ran, and left me <laughs> laying there naked. Jesus Christ! It's like I don't understand why I come back out here. It's like all these bad things that keep happening to me and like I still just think one more time, one more time, one more time it's going to be over and I just keep doing it. And I have these four beautiful children. Yes. One's 17, one's 15, one's 11, one's 5. Three of them I haven't even seen in four years. They don't even know me probably anymore. The dates. Is that how you make your money out here? Yeah. Now when you approach a car, how do you know they're not the police? I don't. I really don't. Have you been arrested before? Not for prostitution. What, what was you arrested for? A possession. So what are some things that these guys ask of you when you approach the car? What do they want? I, well, I know what they want, but what do they say to you? They ask how much. Mm -hmm. then, but then some of the things they want you to do, it's like, I don't know. Kind of degrading. Right. So what are some requests that you will not participate in? I will not participate in anal. I will not participate in, you know, playing with their anus or nothing like that. Right. Absolutely. I understand that it's not easy, you know, when you a uh, woman have to deal with a bunch of strangers on a daily basis. So due to the fact, you know, you got that, that prostitution or, you know, reputation as far as being out here, you're doing dates and stuff. How does that impact how others see you? I don't know that it does. I don't, I don't, I don't, I really, if they judge me, then they need to look in a mirror sometimes. And do you think that find, do you think that it's harder to find a partner due to the fact you have prostituted no I mean maybe has men has men use you in a relationship to make money for drugs no but, they, but the last guy I was with for the past seven years, I have a friend who comes down and helps me. And he, he uh, you know, he, I don't think he cared. Okay. 
Now, I heard a lot of stories out here about bad date experience. Have you had any good dating experience out here? Yeah. Can you name just one? Tell us about it. The good one was the last guy. He had he had a, just picked me up Friday and uh, took me back to his house and I was there all weekend. She was able to shower, you know, stay warm. Yeah, so then then it was like, you know, last night it was like I had to go. I just had to go. I think I was driving the guy nuts. Mm -hmm. So what has been your worst dating experience so far? So it, that was around 20 years ago. The guy picked me up and he took me down to I don't even know where to this apartment complex in the parking lot. And he put my car door up to the other car so I couldn't open it. He just told me to get in the back seat and I thought that guy was going to kill me. So I got in the back seat. Then he um, got out, went in the truck, got a condom, came back in, put it on. He said, pull your pants down. I said, no. He, said, he pulled my pants down. He raped me. He sodomized me. When he was done, he dropped me off. Four days later, I was sitting on a Somerset and Kensington. He came over and threw money on the ground and said, you were good. I said, no, you raped me. But I picked that money up and ran. That man tried to kidnap me off the street a year or two later. Yeah, that, I think that, that was the worst experience.